Question, can eating more nuts help lower creatinine levels? Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for more than 10 years now. And let me tell you one thing, when it comes to protecting the kidneys, following the right diet is much more important than most people realize. Having the right nutrients while avoiding harmful foods is the number one step toward a better kidney health. It's not a coincidence that science found a link between nut consumption and a reduction in both the prevalence and mortality rate of chronic kidney disease. And while some people are still scared of high-fat foods such as nuts, it's time now to change the way we look at these superfoods. Because our understanding of how to plan a healthy renal diet has really changed a lot today. You see, many patients need to avoid carbs and also protein, so they will need more healthy fats in their diet if they want to improve. This brings us to nuts, one of the healthiest sources of fat you can add to any eating plan. And nuts can be extremely healthy. They have been linked to a wide range of health benefits. Nuts protect your heart as they are rich in plant sterols and arginine. Nuts can also be used to control body weight and sugar level thanks to their healthy fats. Not to mention that you will get unique omega-3s and other anti-inflammatory compounds from certain nuts. But not all nuts are ideal for people with kidney issues. You have to be very careful with what nut you choose and with how much you eat. Just promise me you'll be careful, okay? So a very important question. What changed about nuts in the renal diet recently? Well, if you follow me regularly, you know that there has been some sort of revolution in the way a renal diet is planned. And if you don't, my video up here in all stand description may be very important to watch. However, what I want to focus on today is the simple fact that so many CGD sufferers have been told to avoid nuts for all the wrong reasons. Due to their content of potassium and phosphorus, nuts have been removed from the diet of so many people. But is that right? We will see more about this in a moment. Now guys, today we will see what nuts are the most beneficial for kidney health and what you should avoid. Because I love snacking on these delicious treats. Many nuts are incredibly good for you, as I was saying, and it's time to debunk myths and misconceptions about them and make sure you are benefiting from them. I will also share my personal favorites, the healthiest nuts for a renal diet, so don't miss that part. Because nuts are a staple of any healthy person's diet, mine included. I reach for them when I need a snack to spice up otherwise boring salads or to make my smoothies taste creamier. And I love adding almonds to my dinner for their magnesium and melatonin content. And I love eating walnuts daily for their omega-3 content. So today we will see how to incorporate nuts in a diet made to lower creatinine levels. There are certain nuts that I will especially recommend because they have been observed lowering creatinine levels in medical literature. Before we see what they are, let's dispel some misinformation about nuts. There is one more reason why some people are avoiding nuts, their content of something called anti-nutrients. Should you be worried about that? I saw a video here on YouTube just the other week about nuts and their purported health dangers. This is from a famous YouTuber that I watch sometimes. He's called Thomas Delue and he makes millions of views. Millions of people watch his videos. And I kind of like his content, but he is not the most informed when it comes to nutrition. Let's see why. So we're looking at a tremendous amount of phytic acids. You're really neutralizing a lot of the actual mineral content. That so he says that he completely stopped buying cashews that he refers to as because they are too rich in phytic acid, he says. 
he's really concerned about phytic acid and he's not the only one. Many people are avoiding foods such as nuts because they contain what some health guru refers to as anti-nutrients. Question, is phytic acid from nuts bad for you? Phytic acid, also known as phytate, is a natural compound found in many plant foods including nuts, seeds, grains, and legumes. Phytic acid has been viewed negatively because it can bind to minerals in the gut and prevent their absorption. This is why it's often referred to as an anti-nutrient. Minerals that can be affected include iron, zinc, and calcium. So maybe now you are worried too. But here's the thing, you shouldn't. You see, the impact of phytic acid on mineral absorption is vastly overstated. While it can actually reduce the absorption of minerals from a specific meal, it's very unlikely to cause nutrient deficiencies by itself. I mean, you should eat tons of nuts to cancel all the calcium from your diet, and that will cause way worse trouble than what the phytic acid can do. In fact, most people who consume diets high in phytic acid, me included, still absorb enough of these minerals to meet their needs. And now you may ask, wouldn't it be better to just avoid these anti-nutrients? Well, no. And not just because nuts, cashews included, may be extremely healthy. Also because phytic acid has several potential health benefits. First of all, it's a powerful antioxidant. It helps prevent damage from harmful free radicals. It helps with blood sugar control. It may actually slow down the rate of which sugar enters the bloodstream, which is amazing. Some studies suggest that phytic acid can help reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels, potentially reducing the risk of heart disease. Not to mention that it has even been linked to the prevention of certain types of cancer, although more studies are needed to confirm this effect. And I'm not talking about nuts in general here, just phytic acid. Nuts have even more benefits for you. In short, don't believe people telling you that the anti-nutrient content of nuts will damage your health. But on the other hand, there is something that you should totally be concerned with when it comes to eating nuts. So what you should actually keep in mind when it comes to nut consumption is their protein content. Yes, there is actually one thing in nuts that may be bad for you and that is protein. Okay guys, but nuts are actually too healthy to avoid them completely even if you are following a very low protein diet. Moderation is key here. Moderation is how you can get the health benefits of eating nuts without damaging your kidneys with too much protein. And also by eating nuts that are lower in protein. Question, what nuts are lower in protein? Macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts are the lowest in protein when it comes to nuts. Just 2.3 grams of protein per 28 grams serving. So you can totally enjoy their health benefits and their amazing taste without adding too much protein to your diet. Macadamia nuts are also high in monounsaturated fats, which are beneficial for heart health, making them a good choice for those on a renal diet. They are also packed with healthy fats, B vitamins, magnesium, copper, iron, and manganese. Other good options for those following a very low protein diet include pecans and Brazil nuts. Pecans are especially kidney friendly at 2.6 grams of protein per 28 grams serving. Now, some people also need to limit phosphorus, and nuts do contain some phosphorus. Question, what nuts are lower in phosphorus? Pecans, macadamia nuts, and walnuts are especially low in phosphorus. Macadamia nuts are again the lowest, but pecans are just a tiny bit higher at 79 mg of phosphorus for 28 grams serving. And pecans also come with some interesting health benefits. They are a good source of calcium, a mineral that's often a problem for those with kidney issues. And they also contain some magnesium, great for helping with hypertension. What not many people know about pecans is that they may also help with cholesterol levels. Pecans 
are high in healthy fatty acids and fiber both which have been linked to lower cholesterol yes pecans are really good for you and not just because they have lower phosphorus content compared to other nuts as we have seen actually the importance of limiting plant-based dietary sources of phosphorus has been thoroughly re-evaluated by today's medical science while we know that keeping your phosphorus levels down is key for kidney health, we also know today that the phosphorus you may get from a moderate amount of nuts won't really make a difference. In fact, while in the past dietary restrictions were the norm in CKD, we know today that dietary restrictions don't really help unless they are tailor suited for the individual. We also know that not all foods are equal when it comes to phosphorus bioavailability and restricting plant-based foods doesn't help at all. What really helps is restricting animal protein. Yes, animal-based foods are the main source of phosphorus you want to avoid. And guys, if you want to know more about how to manage phosphorus to improve your GFR levels, this video up here and also down in the description is for you. Now guys, even if some of the other nuts are higher in protein and phosphorus than pecans and macadamia nuts, it doesn't mean you can't have them. Moderation is key here, but many nuts have significant benefits for you. Almonds, for example, are a nutrition powerhouse. They are rich in vitamin E, a vitamin that has been linked to significant kidney health benefits, especially when coming from foods. They are also full of magnesium, great for managing blood pressure. And as I was saying, almonds also contain a natural source of melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone used by the body to sleep. This is why having some almonds at dinner may help you sleep better. Another nut that I recommend is walnut. I love walnuts for their omega-3 content. Now, a diet rich in omega-3s is key for protecting the kidneys. These essential fatty acids have been linked by a huge study lasted for 13 years to a 13% lower risk of developing CKD. So consider including walnuts in your diet. Question, can you actually eat more nuts to lower your creatinine levels? Many nuts are incredibly healthy. Some nuts like walnuts, pine nuts, and almonds are high in amino acid arginine. Arginine is also beneficial to heart health as it helps maintain healthy vessels and circulation by making the wall of your arteries flexible and less prone to clots that can disrupt normal flow. Remember that keeping your heart healthy means keeping your kidneys healthy. Nuts are also rich in vitamins such as B6, B3 or niacin and minerals such as calcium, iron, selenium and copper. All of these are key for kidney health. They also contain vitamin E and other antioxidants. Due to nuts rich antioxidant content, they can help combat inflammation by inactivating unstable molecules and protecting from free radicals. This is extremely important. Antioxidants are being thoroughly studied today for their kidney protecting benefits. Now guys, as I was saying, certain nuts have actually been used to lower creatinine levels in people with CKD. I'm especially referring to Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are highly recommended to be included in a CKD diet by health professionals due to their significant amount of selenium. Selenium is a mineral that's been actually used to fight kidney disease. You see, a deficiency in this mineral, which is pretty common, is linked to kidney damage. Correcting this deficiency can, in some cases, directly lower creatinine levels. Sounds interesting? Well, I made a full video about this. It's up here if you want to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.